from the yes, end yes. okay yes. so okay and let's get started see basically see i had a totally 18 years of experience in this um, world main from world okay so okay i will i will give you basically instead of more see i can give you theoretical things but uh, on top of that i can tell you more scenarios on how you will act how we look into the real time scenarios like the, how the system will work and uh, how the changes will come how the project will do what what are the requirements will come i, I can i can guide you on all these areas when we go for the main from technology course okay okay so okay so when, when you talk about the main frame right the main frame is basically it will divide into two parts one we call it as a batch part and another one will call it as an online okay yeah so i, I just uh, tell about brief about the what exactly main from does right okay maybe based okay. on that we can go later okay so batch is nothing but it will run on few languages Co uh, jcl cobol visa and dvd when it comes to the online right we call it as a maps map sets cakes and uh, there will be some table entries and visa and dvd okay this is the basically total mainframe what it will work on this way so when it comes to the batch part right why we call why we differentiate as a batch and online see batch is nothing but suppose you you, you have a bank account when you have the bank account so you will go and uh, you want to generate a one month uh, statement like what are the transactions you did so you want to look at the one month statement so basically this type of uh, examples of uh, scenarios it will go into the batch part mm -hmm. like the report we can say the reporting report creating the reporting mm -hmm. creating the reportings and, and also uh, say like uh, you have a uh, i give you know, creating reports and you, you have say say you went to the a restaurant in the restaurant you you ordered so many stuff and like that example is also ordered so many stuff uh, also is ordered and i also ordered like so many customers orders on every day basis so, so when it comes to the end of the day right you want to see how many idlis is sold it how many doses is sold it how many chai or uh, coffee has been sold you want to see the total request so this type of report will go for the reporting processing or reporting processing basically we'll use it for reporting process and another one is i can tell you you have the back you have the credit card okay so you are using daily today you have you have you have bought for 100 rupees and tomorrow you have bought for 200 rupees so at end of the month at end of the month say your bill is 400 so to okay. accumulate all these to accumulate all these and generating one statement will does it to the batch part okay this is okay. called the back batch processing in the mainframe side okay and the, when it comes to the online right online processing See, online processing is nothing but suppose you went to ATM, you withdraw 100 rupees. Mm. Your previous balance is 
your previous balance is 400 and immediately you will get one message called 3900 after withdrawing the 100 rupees so th this is called actually one transaction in the online process so this type of for immediate concurrent we will call it as a concurrent business concurrent process it is which will does in the online you got it yeah i got it okay see you see yeah i'm trying to make it simple to understand more here that's all yeah. if you want to ask you can ask for i, I don't have you and uh, see uh, why i'm saying the these uh, the examples is this is a real time what we are doing daily process you are doing it so see to, to do all this process we we'll, we'll main frame we'll use it why compare if you have see i have been working on this so many modernization Nowadays, people are calling it as a modernization from one from mainframe to Java, mainframe to Java. They are, they are calling, and uh, okay. I'm telling you what are the features was there. I will give you the advantages. Advantages of mainframe and the SR dozen phase for others. Mainframe, how do they tried? Even I, even I tried in my systems. Okay. Mainframe to Java, mainframe to Hadoop, mainframe to .NET. We tried it. So what is happening, right? See, in mainframe, if you look at right, the processing, the processing of the time, it will take very less time compared to the Java or Hadoop and .NET. So you will get lot, you will get lot of performance issues while you are doing from the mainframe to others, other modernization, right? They tried lot of lot of times they tried and uh, it has been it, it has been failed every time it has been failed every time in my, in my company and we again we are back to the mainframe so if you look at right mainframe it will be there i feel i've been working in 18 my boss is working from last 35 years i can see another 30, 20 years also mainframe will be there it cannot be replaced when you look for the data processing when it look for the axing, uh, axing of the process, it you no know, even Java and Adobe and .NET, even SAP, all this it cannot beat on the mainframe. Okay, so okay. this is what, uh, this is the purpose mainframe. It will be used. basically if you look at mainframe, right? Mainframe technology is using basic max of hundred percent of I know hundred percent of investment banking companies. We use the investment bank, investment systems, banking systems, and automobile industries. All these we mm -hmm. use the mainframe only for the data processing. Okay. And uh, other the other biggest feature is mainframe is having data security. Data security in this nothing but see if you if you go to the Java right Java and you have a lot of open sources data. Yeah, what databases is there like you, you know Moodle, so you have mango db you have excel data you have Oracle and all these all these directly you can go and access from your ip addresses and you can create your own tables and you can do that when it come to the main frame right we have separate process called the vsam and db2 this will take care of the i will explain what is vsam what is db2 later let, let's go for what it does. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. In the mainframe, what it does means it will give the data security. Data security in the sense you have to go and log into that system. Then only you can be able to see the data. You can't see from the outside what is the data was present for the particular folder in the, in the mainframe. Okay. You can't log into the mainframe. The servers are different. The servers will be maintained by one separate uh, cost centers will be there. They will move. So basically, mainframe why why it will be usually for data access is very fast. Yes. And data security. Yes. And performance. Yes. Performance wise, nobody can uh, no language can beat mainframe. No mm -hmm. longest meet mainframe technology. So these are the basically if you look at the high level, right? 
you have to yeah. think of what is the mainframe does what if anybody is asked what is the difference between mainframe to java why we are going for the mainframe why come to java why come to artificial intelligence and the machine learning say we tried uh, even i work i, I work with python even we tried yeah. so many things the so database i had taken out and i tried with mainframe what are the mainframe we are doing that uh, dashboards and all I had taken mm -hmm. back and we had tried to do it in Python. We got the performance issues. Again, we went back to the mainframe, loaded into the data to the mainframe, and uh, we, are, we are generating the data. The data we are sending to Python to create the dashboards. This is what we are doing. We have tried so many, so many aspects of the real time. From the last six years, we are trying to make to reduce the database in the mainframe set. It's not happening. So, when you try for the job in the mainframe, don't worry, you will get it. Okay? Yeah. So that is the one. Okay. So, so basically, when you when we when you learn from mainframe, right, you have to learn three languages. This is must. When you start with any any initially when you start from the any language, we how in the Java hoops concept is important. In the mainframe, you have to learn three languages mainly. Cobol, JC, DB2. DB2, I will tell you. Oh, DB2, okay. That's right. Okay. Cobol is nothing but there. Uh, they will call it the language common business oriented standards language. Okay. Oriented and JSL is job standard language, job coded language, you can say. I will tell you what is the difference, okay? Okay. VSM is a virtual standard access method built by JSL. Virtual standard. Actually, we won't use this for full length of four name, okay? Virtual standard access language, and we'll say VSM, Papa, JSL, that's it. Access methods and the database. Okay. Sure. So uh, let's come to the COBOL. Why we are differentiating COBOL, JCL, and VSAM? I'll tell you. Okay. See, when you are writing, say, say you have an A field, you have a B field. We'll call it as a field, okay. right? Uh, the maths and all. You have a A, yeah. you have a B. Okay. So yeah. you are doing. You are doing C is there. You are doing okay. C equal to A plus B. Yeah. Okay. When you do the C equal to the A plus B, see this this one, this language, this code you will write into the COBOL language. Got it? Yeah. Okay. This is called as a logic. Or in the COBOL, yeah. you will write the logic. What yeah. is the logic? What is the logic you want to run it? I mean, say you want five rupees. If you are giving the A is equal to B equal to three, I just want to make five rupees. So C equal to five. You want you want to get. So what you do? A plus B you will get the C equal to A plus B. You will get the five rupees. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. See, you are given only logic here. In the COBOL, what you did, you are given the logic. You didn't give anything on that. Just you have written the logic. C bus, I have yeah. A, I have B, I have a C. But some A equal to 2, A is 2 is there, B equal to 3 is there. For the C, I need to get 5 rupees. So how will do that? So you, you know what has to write. That in your mind, okay. If you do A plus B, I will get the 5 rupees. So you've done that, okay? So, but if you go to the JCL, right? In the JCL, what you do, you will give A equal to two. You have written only long, you have, you have defined the fields, you have written the long, long but you didn't give you the logic. You didn't give the, what is the logic to, what is the values you are giving for the A and B to get the C? Yeah, I got them. Hello. 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 Yeah, are you hearing? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah see a equal to 2 and b equal to 3 are given and yeah okay c equal to 5 you have to get to do this right you will use the jc okay you, you got it yeah you got the what, what is the use of cobalt and what see i i will tell you explain you when See, if you are interested in future, if you want to take the classes, then I will tell you what is the, what is it, the Koval, I will explain, what is the JCL, I will explain, how it will link with the B7, I will explain, okay? See, what yeah. it does, JCL, JCL, in the JCL, what you will have, you will have the values of A and B and C. A and B you will have, when you run the JCL, you will get this. Yeah. Got it? See. Yeah. But when, when, you, when you look at, right, if you go to any bank, Suppose if you go to you have a bank in the basically okay. You are you see I am from the Chennai. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's give one example. In Chennai, I have ICSA bank. Okay. Yeah. ICSA bank. Uh, I have a customer in uh, one branch one. Branch one, I have ten customers. Branch two, I have 20 customers. Branch three, I have 30 customers. But what? See, there will be centralized for Chennai, for Chennai city, right? Yeah. If you look at, there is a centralized Chennai city. See, he, what will happen is I am totally 10, 10 customers in one branch, branch one. Mm. 10 customers in branch two. 10 customers in branch 3. Okay. Branch 1, 10, branch 2, 2, branch 3, 30. So when he look for this Chennai, let's see, uh, um, what I say, Sebek asked him to Chennai, Chennai manager. First, he wants to take total customer in Chennai. Okay. Total customer in Chennai. You will get 60. Okay. 30, 50, 60. Then the other input is asking is what each customer was done the transaction for what each customer uh, done the transaction on particular month, on particular day. Okay. And uh, who is the high, highest net worth? High net worth, high net worth, day. high net worth means you know that. Do you know what is I net worth? Means uh, yeah. I net worth in the sense who is having more, more value, more more money. Okay. More money out of 60 customers. Mm -hmm. I net worth is digital and controlled out. And see, when, when you look at right, this is one logic. Branch one, branch two, branch, this is one logic. And yeah. branch one is branch one is you have 10 records, you will keep as a one set of records. One set yeah. of records means you will have the Ramesh Rajes, uh, Chetan, uh, all these will come into the 10, 10 customers in the branch one. Same way, branch two have 20 customers, branch three has the 10, 30 customers. So if you look at this has to be this has to be one set. Got it? One set, two sets, two set and three set third set see okay when when we write the logics right here when you talk about the logic here what you will do you try to write the logic first how many customers in the branch one how many customers in the branch two how many customers in the branch three you will accumulate and you will create as a 60 customers of assets okay today is this one if you go to the tomorrow there might be one customer will be adding or else one customer will be leaving the ICSA, leaving to uh, come out of the ICSA bank uh, savings account. This time okay. it will vary the it will vary this uh, customer's number, right? Yeah. Okay, this customers will be. So if you if you look at here, right? If you look at here, this is static always. A and B, two and two, three, C equal to five is a static. Okay, if you run this, if you run A plus B, you will get always five. Okay. You got. But here what okay. happens today is 
Today I have a 60, 60, today I have 60 okay. customers. Tomorrow it can be 80. Day after tomorrow it can be 75. Okay. The value of the customers it may, it will increase. It will increase and decrease. And also okay. the value of the money also will increase it. You got it? Yeah. yeah. So so this all this this logic you will write into the coma. Yeah. How many, how many customers you got it? How many customers? See, you you will you will check it based on the customers count, or based on the file and layouts, all these you will create and you will get the logic on the form bar. In the same okay. time, this customers data, right? You will yeah. load into the this yeah. is called set of records. Set of records will be there, right? This set okay. of records you load into the one notebook. If you if you look at it in the word pad, you will write uh, uh, Ramesh hundred rupees, Rajesh hundred rupees like that. But in the main framework, we we'll call it as a file. File is called set of records. Okay. Set of records. So in the file, what it what happens? You will have the input file and output file. I will tell you what is the example. Okay. So yeah. if you look at A equal to 2, B equal to 3 is there. So you yeah. are giving A equal to 2 and B equal to 3 as inputs and you are getting the output is 5. Yeah. So when you run the JCL, right, JCL always will give, you will give the input and you will take the output. You, how we will do that? Using the Cobalt program to run the logic to get and give the input and get the output. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. You got it or not? So yes, I got it. If you don't get, let me know. Yeah, I got it. So, see, th this case, you know the values, but if you come to the large, large number, if you look at here, See, branch customers, you know how many customers will be there in this branch. It will be number of every time it will add or decrease everything it will happen, right? So yeah. you can't view you can't view every time like how many customers is there. Can you can you able to do it manually? There will be millions mm -hmm. of customers. Millions yeah. of customers will be there. So for the millions of customers, when you write the logic, the logic will be same. Yeah. So if, if you go to the ATM. If you go to ATM, you 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 deposit initially five thousand rupees. Tomorrow you are taking the two hundred rupees. So four thousand eight hundred it is in our balance. When you look at from your point of view, it's a single entity. Mm -hmm. Single entity in the sense when you when you do this process from our side, it is a single process. But the same ATM will be used by number of customers on the same day. Yeah. When you look at in the ATM point of view, it's number of customers. Mm. Same way, when you, if you look at in the that uh, that ATM center itself, you will have the three ATMs. Same thing, you will have number of ATMs, right? So all this, th th this type of process, basically bank processing, basically they will use the mainframes. So okay. if you got the initial logic. What exactly we are doing? The, uh, Use of the COBOL and JCL, right? COBOL, JCL, yeah. and input. You got it or not? Yes, I got it. Okay. So I, I just give only a few things in the COBOL. Like, hello. Also, how much time I need to. I, I, I have time? Hello? Uh, it's been muted. <laughs> okay, that's fine. First, when you when you learn from the mainframe, right? The basic mm -hmm. concept first you have to learn is Cobol. Cobol yeah. is the logic for logic to write for program. It is called as a programming Cobol programming. We'll say that. Okay. Okay. You will write the logic actually in the Cobol program. When you start in the mainframe any time, you have to first learn the Cobol programming. In the Cobol program, if you look at right, there will be data types you called. OK, 
okay i will give you on the on the high level okay data types data clauses data clauses and um, arithmetic data Sorry. types means that data types means that uh, numeric alpha numeric i see Computer. there will be numeric uh, alpha numeric mm -hmm. x a nine alpha numeric and uh, numeric alphabetic mm -hmm. i got this i got okay same way you have for data clauses i'll tell you later what is the data clauses yeah. i think one clause picture clause picture clause i'll tell you like you have the x9 x9 yeah i know yeah, yeah. and you have the arithmetic operations mm. arithmetic operations Mm -hmm. See my writing on I'm writing fast, okay? Don't okay, okay. Arithmetic operations you will have yeah, add, subtract, mm -hmm. multiply, and dividend. Okay, same way you have clauses will tell display clauses. We'll call it as mm -hmm. a display, display clause. clause. Okay. It's like comp, comp three, comp one. See why I see these are the basically if you look at these things right these are the basically yeah. when you are defining the value variables right? before that I can say that variables will call it as variable is nothing but a is the variable b is the variable c is the variable you are you are giving the name of the say your name is there boss is there my name is Ravi. So for that we'll call it as a name, name field. Name is called as okay. a variable. So variable, variable okay. field we'll call it as. So this is for that variables we will use that. And data will these are the for you. Say you have the A is there. A you will give like pick X of, X of 20. 20. How many 20. bytes we want? Yeah, it will be maximum 35. 30. I didn't remember. Okay, I can I can say that that's one thirty-two only. Okay, EA pick of that twenty is there, right? See, in this case you can see like uh, Vasu, like uh, Ravindra. I can give like this Ravi Krishna. But again, if you look at right, see, you know, in India we have a lot of names. I can give like this name, first name. And last name. So, okay. So this case you want to read it. See, I will, I will explain all this. How we do work work. See, so this this is called as a group variables. Okay. You have like uh, group variables. If you come to the group variable, if you come to the variables, there is a lot of types. Group variables. How to rename the variables? How to redefine the variables? See, rename means you you can use the same structure class one. You need to just do it the rename. This, yeah. this will save a lot of uh, storage. I'll explain what is the storage and all those. Okay. So if you come to the variable, if you come to the feed, what this will come, and also if you come to the, then the input, you have the file methods. You have a table okay. handling, table handling will be there. You will have the string handling will be there. Okay. You will have the mm -hmm. subroutines. Subroutines. So all these, all this will come into the forward. Okay. So oh, routines the, means, okay, pass routines means you mm -hmm. have the logic of four. You have the logic of uh, 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 how to say okay. I know you know. You are you are you know that huh? okay. You are writing the logic of uh, name. You are writing the address of the address into the some other name. So you yeah, want no. you similar to function call. Yeah, similar to function. That's right. So you have you have the looping structures we have. 
here we have the looping structures you will use to one is the performance or perform loop okay. and you have if class mm. and you have the evaluate these are the you have the looping systems and other than that uh, you have this one what is that term you can go for the extending like that we have a reference modifications rounding options these are the additional things in the global see everyone will cover in here and i'm clearly speaking everyone will cover in here so these things yeah. if you do you will get until what is the global usually but when you look at in the uh, fundamentally if you are looking into the real time right we have to go to the summary we have to go into the summary how to do it say like you have 100 rupees is there like 100.89 uh, is there okay so you, your customer said boss i need only two digits after the decimal two digits after the decimal for that you have the one option like uh, you can use the round in reference like it will give 29 instead of 289 mm -hmm. it will give it. these things are more important like that you have a lot of like tallying you have and you have uh, what is that you have suppose you have the name uh Rame, like you have ramesh is like that is correct suppose you have ramesh after there is a slash after m there is a dot after m there is something after dot will be there so these things if, if you want to remove if you want to keep only alpha number alphabetic values what do you do that so the, these type of items uh, nobody teaches but uh, see i am not teaching as a some course i want to give it i don't want to do that i am telling you now if you are interested if, if we end of the day you have to get you have to get the job or you have to do the work on the main track. Until that, I won't even. <laughs> if, 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 if I explain to you, I'm saying, if I, if I explain to you, see, it may be, see, Vasu might say it's 45 days. If, if you are trying to finish it in 45 days, I can finish it. But hmm. at the end of the day, is what I'm saying, I need the 100% accurate. You have to get and get the job done. That's all. You got it? If you, if you are yeah. working in some company, if you, if you like, after 45 days, you, you mm. should have the conference to do that. That's how I'll teach you. Mm. And, uh, at the end of the day, at the end of mm. the day, I when you complete the COBOL, I will look into the top aspects, then only I will go to the system. Until mm. you are not, until you are not, until you are not perfect, I will not go to the GC. I'm saying now it's a okay? okay. If I, if I explain, see, because I'm not teaching you, I'm, I'm teaching a profession, I'm not teaching for the profession. Okay? okay. Okay, you have anything else you want me to explain some of the things? Just let me then, will, we be, uh, will you be teaching me the CICS also? Everything. Okay. So, what do you know actually? You know JCN? You know mainframe already? I mean, uh, I'm working in TCS. I mean, like uh, last like, last five, five months, I worked as a Java developer. Okay. I mean, now, like, uh, uh, I wanted a change, and my manager, okay, they put me in a mainframe technology. And, like, it's been uh, five, six days I'm in mainframe. And uh, in main, I have been learning this uh, in, some, I mean, two, three days. I mean, I learned about this PSO, ISP. Uh, next, I thought so to learn. PSO, ISP, PSO, ISP is nothing but you want crash course, you want to do it first, I can do it. Just I can. Mm, no, no, I'll. Mm. What, no, I, what, uh, what I felt is, uh, I mean, till, the, till that evaluator, what, what you have written, uh, I mean, Where? in this notepad, in this Where? Word document. Where, where, what I uh, normal. Uh, can you scroll down a little? Okay. Till end. Okay. Mm. 
till evaluate mean probably like i can read on myself i mean like i can read on myself like uh, on on through like a website or something I mean i've been working on this I mean i found something like uh, uh, i saw this evaluate if perform loop and all it was it was easy but like i found little bit tough in file methods and all to understand like i thought uh, i'll see some other sites and it will get me clear like still two three days I mean uh, what i want is like a uh, real time uh, solving case studies and and so on most things I mean these things syntax wise uh, what it performs i can learn by website so you may be say you want to write i can give you some uh, real, uh, i mean uh, i need to be ta- I, I need to be able to tackle a uh, real time problem so did you write any program not at like uh, i have been learning still Cobol, I just ah Cobol, I just saw some. What is there? Just like something. Uh, I mean everything I saw. Just I mean I didn't get into like full. I mean I have to learn each each concept. I mean I have to spend three three hours and like I have to learn in depth. Like I I'll learn. I can learn. I think so. Like by this tutorial brain or like mainframe guru call. Tutorial brain, sir. Yeah, yeah. See, you can learn. See, learning is not a, it's a learning thing. You can do that. Okay, got it. You are talking basically on the real time scenarios. Okay, what? We yeah. Can do Once I learn that, work. like I need some scenarios where uh, I should tackle and like uh, I need. Uh, I don't know. Once I learned how to start that, how to how to start okay. with real time scenarios. Okay, you tell me how I, how I need to start. You want me to start with like. Uh, Programming, you want me to start with like uh, coding? Yeah, you want me to start with the fundamentals. You tell me, I can see. Hmm. I'm basically, see, I'm a practical person. I'm not a theoretical. I'm not teaching to the people, and I, I have the team, hmm. and this team, and I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, I'm saying hmm. I'm about to be as in this world. Okay. So, and, uh, one more thing. Mm. One more thing. Uh, will I be practicing through practically? Mean like uh, you, you might have a mainframe ID. I mean, I do not have a mainframe ID to access. Oh, but uh, I cannot share my company's data. Maybe I said. Oh, uh, can I get some like uh, if if I download the Oculus simulator and like can I get some mainframe ID, random ID like? Yeah, you can get random. You will get it. Right? I mean, you can talk how to us. You okay. talk to us. He knows that I don't know. Really, I don't know about this. I never did this. <laughs> okay, but to see, I will tell you where you want me to start. I will start. I think you have some basic knowledge on what is uh, Cobol. I can understand that, but that is not. Uh, I feel uh, you are just beginner. <laughs> just you are trying to uh, understanding the things. Am I right? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm trying. I maybe like by the uh, still like if I spend like five more days, I might get good. Like I'll spend some three hours night. That's it. Yeah, you can learn, but when you go to the real time, so you have to do more practice. Yeah. The practical time, as in, and one more thing, when you're writing the language slide, you have to think of what logic has to be. How we need to put it in all this. See, basically, when you come to the arithmetic operators, right? Here we talk mm. like we have been talk about add, subtract, and all. When you go inside, mm. you don't use the add and subtract. Mm. You have some other food, uh, some other one called as compute. Okay. You have the compute work, not for this. And uh, when you have the x, suppose you have the pick equal to x is there, right? So mm. you can define the value in itself, mm. and you have uh, something called uh, next sentence. How to do? Uh, uh, how to do values? Filler. So many stuff is there. Filler. Uh, all, yeah, fillers. It is different again. Mm. You can define directly filler into the uh, your uh, this part as a one way connection. Mm. So, so when you do, say I can go as a sequence list, then you can able to understand. But when you go into the tutorial, 
you will get mm. that you can do it if you want to consider do it if you want mm. to it's fair that's it it's up to you you want practical so you do the practical you want theoretically by line by line see i have to look at how to look at line by line and i'll teach you see teaching for me not a big deal but see i thought of okay. doing it as a end out okay See, everybody will teach what is the power, what is the reason, and then what is the reason, then they will close the shutdown. And then, what I want, mm. from day one, I want to make it how the power works, how the JSON works, how the visa works. Then we go to the DB2. Don't go to the first DB2. Uh, DB2, I'll keep it at last. So after you after you are very comfortable with JSON, power, visa, then you go to the kids. I prefer kids. Because in the fix mm. actually, we will use the more VSAM compared to DB2. Okay. VSAM is uh. data access is faster than the DB2. Mm. DB2 is not a faster access compared to VSAM. And VSAM will have mm. free spaces. Free spaces. There are so many things. The DB2, if you look at, there is a part databases segment type, types of databases for there. Segmented partition mm -hmm. and all these mm -hmm. is going to be visa under the line. Okay, the storage mm -hmm. spaces, partition, segmented, all this. Okay. Okay. So basically, in the kicks process, it runs with visa, not for the not with DV. Mm -hmm. to basically will use for the data access. But the data process, then we do this. The access is different, processing is different. What we are doing in the native is called as a processing. What we are going and looking in the uh, login and looking at the uh, ICS bank link is called as data the access. Got it? Mm. Okay. Anything? You just let me know. You talk to me also. If you have got your file, okay. So you want basically the practical methods for every day. Okay. I mean, uh, if, if I get like, uh, if I get this also like, uh, a di will it be like uh, how many hours like daily or like a uh, weekend how many hours? Yeah. So back, see, uh, see, frankly speaking, I actually from yesterday our news, uh, was asking me. Uh, so, okay. Uh, I was like, see, I'm also working like you know, even after the team also. Uh, will, will you be fine with the hour after nine o'clock every day, nine p.m. Yeah, I am like night. I'm full free. Like from, I'll be till three o'clock every day. Night till three o'clock, huh? Yeah, I sleep at three o'clock. Oh my God! Don't kill me, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like one and a half two years. Why so? Ah, either I, either I do something or I either I play something. <laughs> okay, so yeah, then we'll do one thing, uh, Chetan. We'll start at ten yeah. o'clock, finish at twelve o'clock. Mm. Yeah, okay, that, that's very. Uh, mm. See, I will also sit for till. Uh, 11.30 at 1, so I will sit for you and uh, two months, okay? Thank you. Okay. So, uh, okay. I mean, uh, what about in uh, weekends? Weekends. Uh, I'll see uh, what my wife is here, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, uh, if you if you want to do anything in weekends, you can do Like, I'm always ready in night. Like, I'm triggered in night. See what we can do is see this is what I will give you. I will give you see this week will will uh, I will teach you something from before that on the Friday night we'll discuss we'll give some scenarios. I'll give you a, I'll prepare for the exclusion I will prepare for you. Frankly speaking, I'll exclude you and you do it on Sunday, you do it on Saturday, Sunday will sit for one and two one. Two hours and we'll do it. See, you might start in the Sundays. 
I'll agree initial time you suck into the sun place. But let's wait. What you are sucking, you try to think about it there and we'll sit, we'll sit and do it and suck it. Does it make sense for you? Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Sit and suck it. I will give you four to five scenarios. Every week, we'll make it as four to five scenarios. Okay. And you, you try it and suck it. Yeah. Sunday will sit and I need one day time. I want just to relax and go out. Okay. 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 Sunday, Sunday I will you sit and go. Yeah. Either yeah, okay. any can sit and go. Okay. You are fine. Yeah. You can, you can discuss with the boss and let me know. Then we can get started. Okay. 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 Shalom. Good night. Enjoy. Yeah, good night. Bye. 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 Hello.